that there have been 90 comments submitted, 52 out of the 90 comments. Empty claims about national security are dangerous. Politicians in the U.S. say they are very concerned about cyber security. And we share these concerns. The fact is, banning a company like Huawei just because we studied in China, this does not solve any cyber security challenges. In Montana, Kentucky, and farmers in Wyoming. <coughs> when passing this decision, the FCC did not offer Huawei to possess or verify the facts, but they very loudly and very publicly labeled our company as a national security threat. The FCC's order violates the Constitution, and we have no choice but to seek legal remedy. The enterprise uh, operation and the business uh, world was based on even wrong translation of the Chinese law. Why does Huawei then feel it so important to uh, mount a second legal challenge now? The U.S. would have to pay 20 billion U.S. dollars of additional costs. There is nothing in the universal services provisions of the Federal Communications Act that authorizes the FCC to make national security judgments or to restrict universal services funds on the basis of national security judgments. The FCC is a communications agency, not a national security agency. It has no expertise in national security, nor did it have authority to make national security judgments. That authority lies with the President of the United States of America, not an independent agency. Aside from saying that uh, the order will harm people and businesses in uh, rural communities, if you could expand a bit more on those 21 comments. Uh, regarding cybersecurity, and China has no... Three other Huawei employees were detained earlier this year for various labor disputes. And it's based upon unsound, unreliable, and inadmissible accusations and innuendo, not evidence which could form the basis for actual factual findings. It's simply shameful prejudgment of the worst kind. In these uh, comments, uh, there were also expert comments and testimony. 